One Aurora mom who spent much of this school year advocating for in-person learning is worried about the challenges ahead, especially making up for the lost learning. But Christina Buckley won't be here to continue that battle because over the weekend she was deployed to the Middle East with the Colorado Army National Guard. Number 7's Nicole Brady has her story. So this one is Blackhawk Transporter. Oh, it is. Blake Buckley knows everything about the choppers his mom will be working on for the next year. Mom mostly works on the CH-47. A smart kid, but mom Christina is worried about what he'll be missing in school while she's deployed. I purposely left this out on top of his Chromebook. That is all of the packets and assignments that he is supposed to maintain throughout the day during a hybrid model. Aurora Public Schools have been the most conservative district in the metro. This week, finally returning elementary students to four days a week in person. Last fall, Christina started an advocacy group for Aurora families. Now she'll have to pass the torch as the challenges continue for secondary students in the district and questions arise about learning loss. We're still just kind of hitting a standstill, so it's nerve wracking because I want to do more, but I can't. Her service to her country comes first. What I'm doing is important and I'm thrilled to be doing it. It's my job. She and other Colorado Guard members were celebrated in a ceremony last week, a reminder of the many challenges in our world beyond COVID. So the unit that I'm deploying with is our medevac unit. Um, so the mission is basically just to save lives. <laughs> saving lives overseas, but her mind still on the struggle at home. At the end of the day, I know that there are people here who are going to be phenomenal at taking care of um, our families, our support groups, our students. Inside, it opens up. Hopefully, like I said, the change isn't fighting to get them back in school. Um, every kid, every day, but also just advocating towards getting them the help they need to recover um, socially, emotionally psychologically and academically. Nicole Brady, Denver 7.